executive director. In addition, he is also the member of the board of Reliance Industries. I also welcome Sri PVL Madhavrao, who is the mentor for AP. Sri Bashir Shiraji, he is the CEO of Reliance Bioenergy, and Sri Vamshi Krishna Jasti, he is the head energy plantation for Reliance Bioenergy. Sir, it is my great privilege to welcome all of you to this significant event as we gather to formalize a strategic partnership between Government of Andhra Pradesh and Reliance Industries. Today, we are signing this memorandum of understanding. It is more than a formal agreement. It is a testament to the visionary leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, whose dedication to advancing sustainable development, boosting economic growth, enhancing infrastructure, and empowering local communities has brought us to this transformative moment. Under the guidance of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Nara Chandrababu Nadigaru, Andhra Pradesh has seen remarkable strides in infrastructure growth, innovation and business-friendly policies, creating an environment where meaningful public-private partnerships can thrive. His commitment to driving progress and empowering our communities has laid a strong foundation for this collaboration, which will benefit the people of state in profound and lasting ways. With the vision of our Honorable Chief Minister, we have want to achieve net zero by 2047. We have recently launched Andhra Pradesh Integrated Clean Energy Policy 2024. The policy targets to add 78.5 gigawatts of solar energy projects, 35 gigawatts of wind energy projects, 22 gigawatts of pumped storage projects, 25 gigawatt of battery energy storage systems, 1.5 million metric tons per annum of green hydrogen and its derivatives, 1,500 kiloliters per day of ethanol, 10,000 tons per day of bio CNG or CBG and 20 gigawatts of clean tech manufacturing in the state in the next five years. This policy aims to attract investments worth around 10 lakh crore and generate employment about say 7.5 lakhs. This MOU, this is inspired by the vision of our Honorable Chief Minister. This symbolizes our shared ambition to harness the strength of both public and private sectors and to work hand in hand for job creation, increased investment, and better quality of life for all. We are honored to have his support and leadership guiding us to this path. On behalf of all those involved, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to our Chief Minister, sir, for his unwavering commitment to progress and for setting a clear vision that inspires partnerships like this, which we are forging today. With these few words, I request Sri PMS Prasad Garu, Executive Director and Member, Reliance Industries Board, to give his opening remarks. Hello. Uh, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nara Chandrababu Naidu Garu, respected Minister for Energy Sri Ravi Kumar Garu, respected Minister for HRD, IT, ENC, and skill development, Sri Nara Lokesh Garu, and respected Minister for Industries, <coughs> Mr. Uh, Sri T. G. Bharat Garu, and uh, Chief Secretary Sri Nirup Kumar Prasad Garu, and the dignitaries and the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Namaskaram. Good evening. It's an honor to stand before you as Reliance proudly partners with the visionary government of Andhra Pradesh to achieve a brighter and more sustainable future. It's going to be a transformative journey and it would not have been possible without the progressive clean energy policy formulated by the AP government and under the guidance of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nara Chandrababu Naidu Garu with his progressive policies and with this, under this policy, the wasteland in the state will be utilized for setting up clean energy businesses, including bioenergy. Reliance has forever played an integral role in the, in the growth of India. We have vowed to make the Prime Minister's dream of Atmanirbhar Bharat come true. In this context, our investments of rupees 40,000 crores near Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh to produce 30% of India's natural gas demonstrates our dedication to in India's energy security. Today, we are building on this commitment 
through a major investment in bioenergy, a proposed investment of rupees 65,000 crores in the state of Andhra Pradesh. This groundbreaking initiative will revitalize the waste, vast tracts of wasteland, transforming them into hubs of sustainable energy production. This in initiative will benefit Andhra Pradesh, the state of Andhra Pradesh in four ways. First, it will transform Andhra Pradesh into one of the largest CBG producing states with 35 lakh metric tons of CBG produced annually. 35 lakh metric tons is equal to almost 14 million cubic meters. This is about half of the gas today produced from KG Basin. Uh, produced annually and this will fuel growth within the state of Andhra Pradesh as well as India. This 35 lakh metric tons of CBG is roughly about 70 percent of the CNG consumed in India today and even if I take an 8 percent growth in the CNG consumption by the time all these Investments will be complete, of course. I'm assuming it will be about four years. Uh, Mr. Lokesh is pushing me to do it faster. But even if I take four years, even at that time, this will be 50% of India's CNG production, consumption. And this will save India, at today's prices, 20,000 crores per year of energy imports. This gas uh, produced will power around 10 lakh light commercial vehicles. I mean, just to these numbers are quite big, but I just wanted to give you a sense of these numbers. And this will, if, if we are powering 10 lakh LCVs in the state of Andhra Pradesh or in the country, sir, uh, this will reduce emissions and this will help realize your vision of clean and green Andhra Pradesh. Secondly, uh, the byproduct of these plants is called uh, fermented organic manure. We'll produce one crore tons per year of this fermented organic manure, and this will transform 15 lakh acres of wasteland into organic farmland. And enhancing farmers' income. We also pledge to support interested farmers by offering the tools, equipment, technology, and training to rejuvenate the wasteland for cultivating the energy crops. I mean, that's a part of our commitment to the state. Third and most importantly, this project is not just about sustainable energy, it's also about enhancing the quality of life and empowering livelihoods. This investment will create about 2.5 lakhs of direct and indirect employment opportunities, uplifting the local communities and also boosting economic growth. Fourth, the Reliance Foundation II will play a crucial role in uplifting the local communities in all these areas where we'll be operating. Through digital health and digital education initiatives, we aim to empower individuals with knowledge and tools for a healthier and more productive life. Our social initiatives will prioritize the community well-being and the quality of life. Sir, Reliance will strive to ensure the cutting-edge technology will revolutionize bioenergy using research and development to optimize production, reduce costs, and boost efficiency. In this context, I would like to mention, in fact, uh, I just came back from a visit to San Diego, the bioenergy center of, in the U.S., and we have identified uh, company to collaborate and we are going to build 
uh, it's a joint development, a state-of-the-art research center in India. And uh, to make sure that we can grow this energy crop in uh, arid and saline areas, we can increase the productivity and the throughput to the plants and increase the yield of the gas. All these initiatives we are going to do through this research center, sir. What is the organization? Uh, it is actually our current joint venture partner, BP. They have got a, a state-of-the-art bioenergy research center. Uh, they have two big bioenergy initiatives, bioethanol, and uh, they have lakhs of acres of land in Brazil and where they are converting this uh, energy crop into not only biomethane, which is what we'll be doing, but also bioethanol to substitute gasoline or to blend into petrol. And the second thing BP is also doing, sir, from the municipal waste dumps, they are producing methane and purifying that. So all these technologies are developed and what is required is the enzymes, the fungi and the consortia, the bacteria required to do this because this whole process is bioprocess. There is no chemical. It is using enzymes, bacteria, fungus and I mean, those are the uh, organism that are used in an anaerobic digestive process uh, to break down this organic material of this grass into methane, which is the natural gas equivalent. So this is, we are going to work with BP in developing this technology as a joint venture effort. So this project will not only advance India's energy independence, but will also position the nation as a global leader in sustainable practices. I mean, one is leadership in all the technology, but second is also make sure it is the sustainable energy, and that is really a part of your vision that we are working towards. We are happier to partner with the state of Andhra Pradesh and as in our shared vision of sustainable and prosperous India and prosperous Andhra Pradesh. This bioenergy in initiative is a substantial step towards achieving that vision and we are determined to make it as a reality. Together with the state of Andhra Pradesh, we would like to build an energy depend independent nation and establish India as a leader in sustainability and sustainable energy. Finally, I extend my gratitude to Honorable Chief Minister Sri Chandrababu Naid Garu and my appreciation to Sri Lokesh Garu and uh, Sri Ravi Kumar Garu, whose efforts were instrumental in facilitating our investment, and particularly the team of uh, Sri Ravi Kumar Garu for their support, who have brought us to this stage. I would also like to thank the senior officials of the government of Andhra Pradesh, especially Sri Vijayanand Garu and the Chief Secretary and their team for their commitment and they have been very responsive throughout this process and thank you once again for your trust, support and partnership as we embark on this transformative journey. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you. Sri Prasad Garu.